in your bum. Wilma. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a plan with me for March because as promised, we're doing one of these every single month. Um, for today's video, I'm drinking out of the yellow mug because I'm not gonna lie, this week, has been testing me, and so I just felt like it was a yellow mug kind of day. I needed that little bit of pick-me-up, you know? Recently, I've been getting really into like affirmations and meditations and all that stuff, and like setting your attention for the day. And uh, I made my intention like overall this week to just go with the flow and breathe through things and just let whatever comes, comes, and whatever goes, goes. I feel like the universe is really testing my intention. It's, it's seeing how serious I really am about it. Like for instance, I filmed this video already and lost all the footage. But here we are filming it again, and you know what? I'm still happy about it because I'd much rather be sitting here filming this video than, you know, being somewhere else. Really quick, if you guys aren't following me already, be sure to follow my Twitter, my Instagram. I'm going to pop it right here on the screen, as well as link the plan with me for both January and February down below. January was very overall kind of like 2018, and February was more um, trying out a bullet journal for the first time, which I have updates. And ultimately, if you guys want to plan with me for March, then just keep watching. All right guys, let's get color-coded and extra nerdy. First of all, how are we already leaning into March? I swear to God, I know I say this every year, but I feel like 2018, like, it's flying already. We are already on the third plan with me of this year. Anyway, since I'm filming these every single month, I kind of want to highlight different section of my plan with me's for every single video because one, I don't want them to be all the same, and two, I just feel like it's a cool way to kind of keep these fresh and fun. And so for March, I kind of wanted to share with you guys not just how I plan on, you know, like my dry erase and stuff like that, but also what I do to kind of plan things on my phone. My phone has become a huge asset when it comes to planning things and staying organized, even just like the notes. Guys, I just need to show you really quick. We don't need to dive into it in this video, but I can dive into it in other videos. I make a note about everything. Like I have so many notes, dreams that I've had, video ideas, I've done research on things, I have lists, I have bucket lists, restaurants in Toronto I want to try, movies to watch, just like everything you could possibly write a list or a note about, I put in my phone because it's on me at all times. So first things first, every single month I kind of like to change up my background like on my phone and on my homepage because I feel like we are visual creatures and so keeping the backgrounds on your phone or keeping the screen screensavers on your phone or it's something that you're gonna see every day and so I think if it's something that makes you feel good or like inspired or happy then I mean you know it can't hurt. I just went on We Heart It which I will leave a link to my We Heart It down below but I took two of my most recent favorite hearts one of them being this like you know little hippie van and making that the background when you open up my phone and then I took this photo which I want to say is Lake Louise I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure that's in Canada and I've been itching to get out west so maybe you know law of attraction and all that stuff but I decided to make that one the background on my actual phone because also it's just the color scheme that I've been kind of feeling lately both photos are this makes me feel super calm and the hippie van makes me want to go on adventures we're just hoping to manifest all those things and then in terms of my actual phone case I've been getting a lot of questions about this so I've decided to just kind of throw it in this video this is from a company called print your pet. I did not do any sort of like connection or collaboration with them. I honestly just bought it. I will forewarn you guys, it took a pretty decent amount of time from buying it to actually getting it. I bought it back in like November and I think it came close to Christmas. Honestly, this thing is the most amazing thing in the world and I have no regrets. Look at this. You ready? It's literally him. And then as I mentioned before, I like to use my notes to plan pretty much anything I need to for the week. At the top, I like to keep all of my kind of this week notes. And so I'll open up a note on my phone and then at the very top, I just like to kind of plan out what meals I wanna eat. So what I've been doing, I used to be super in to meal prepping, but I've decided to kind of go back to food prepping because it just works better with my lifestyle. So all I do is kind of give myself two options for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then snacks. And then I pick up all the ingredients to kind of be able to make both of those things so that one, I'm not eating the same thing every day. And two, I still have some sort of option if I want to make this or make that. And then from there, I kind of just go look at what I have in my fridge and my cupboards and see what I still need to pick up to be able to make all of those meals happen. A lot of the time I already have a lot of the things that I need like bananas or rice 
or like vegetables or tofu and so that way if there's anything I'm kind of craving whether it be unhealthy or healthy I can try and find a way to make a vegan healthy version of it so that's how I kind of plan out my grocery list on my phone and then on top of that another huge request I've been getting from you guys is to go into how I've been editing my Instagram photos so I decided to throw that in this video to give the people what they want you know what I mean I recently shot some photos with my sister and I used them for a blog post which will already have gone live after this video goes up so I will leave a link to that down below too but I'm just gonna put that photo into visco cam and show you guys how I've been editing my photos once I upload a photo and I kind of align it and crop it just to make sure it's you know looking good I will add HB2 as per usual that has never changed then I will usually turn up the exposure a little bit and then second I go to shadows and I put it up anywhere between five and six then I'll sometimes adjust the highlights as well go into the contrast I'll change up the temperature I always turn the temperature down to give it a bit of a blue hue and then I'll turn the tint up which gives it that pinky vibe so it was always kind of sitting somewhere between blue pink and purple I'll then adjust the skin tone which will basically just turn the color of your skin a little bit more green or a little bit more red sometimes I'll need to turn it a bit more green depending on the lighting when the photo was taken and sometimes I need to turn it a bit more red and then last but not least I'll add a tiny bit of green like just a little bit not a lot. I mean, it depends on the day, but not a lot. I'll sometimes then throw it into Facetune and whiten it if it seems a little too yellow and highlight a couple areas with the details tool. But aside from that, that's usually all I do. Then I use Unum. This is kind of how I plan out my Instagram and this is also how I plan out promo for videos and blogs and things like that. I will plop the photo in the grid where I want it to be uploaded. I kind of have a bit of a formula when I upload to Instagram where I'll be in the photo and then out of the photo. I don't know if you've ever noticed that before, but I've been doing it for a very long time. Now. So then my Instagram kind of has a bit of a pattern So that's why I really enjoy using Unum because I can plan everything out to make sure everything kind of stays within that rhythm I, I love I love photography Okay, so I have a lot of fun editing photos and kind of making everything look you know seamless And so I get super geeky over that stuff So I love being able to plop it in see how it's gonna look on my feed before uploading it and then also coming up with captions For instance, I put the photo that we just edited in. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this photo like per se but just to give you guys an example and then I just write out the caption or sometimes you know I'll have like a photo and I'll just be feeling some type of way and I just want to get it out even if I'm not ready to post it yet I know that I want to kind of say something so I'll write it out and have it ready to go for whenever it is time to upload it I get really geeky and nerdy over that kind of stuff and I also totally value the people that just post live like whenever something happens they post it right away and I think that that is really Really cool too. Whatever floats your boat, whatever tickles your fancy, whatever brews your coffee. I like that one. And so that concludes the planning I needed to do on my phone slash how I edit my Instagram photos. Next, I'm gonna move on to the good old dry erase, guys. I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't, but I upgraded. Because my dry erase is something that I actually need to have up at all times. I've tried like tucking it away because it's not the prettiest thing to look at. It's something that I reference so many times when I'm on the phone, when I'm doing emails. I just need it on my desk so that I'm seeing kind of my month at a glance. I wanted something that was a little bit more aesthetically pleasing because I uh, my priorities in life are out of whack, okay? I'll leave the link to it down below if you guys are needing a dry erase board, but this one's just like white and black and plain. I pretty much fill this out generally the same. I like to fill in first any trips that I'm going on just to make sure I have punched those out and then after that I'll put in all of my upload videos like what videos are going up and what day aka Sundays and Wednesdays then I'll go into what days I write my blog post what days I'm gonna be filming videos what days I'm gonna be editing videos and within the next few weeks I'm gonna have to start adding to this when I'm gonna be uploading my podcasts because that's something that's actually coming super soon so basically this is an overview of all the upload things off to the side I just keep a very brief kind of what I work on which day from Monday to Sunday and then I just write down what I'm currently reading because again I think we're visual people and so I feel like seeing that it makes me want to finish it so that I can erase it and put the next book up and all that fun stuff oh and then I completely forgot at the very top two I like to keep my workout tally and I just 
check off each time I work out because I'm still doing the $5 thing. I just actually used more than I actually earned on a new pair of running shoes and I'm very excited to use them. Thrown out my knee so I have to take a few days off of running which I think is also partly why I'm having such a weird week. Now I'm working up a new tally because I want to get a new running jacket for the spring. But anyway, I'm just continuing to fill your brains with fluff of things that you guys probably didn't really care to know. So you guys might be wondering, am I still using the bullet journal? Have I moved back to the planner? And honestly guys, I love both. I feel like I can't really commit to one or the other yet, so I'm still playing around with both. I know it might seem kind of counterproductive to be using two different things. With playing around with the bullet journal and still using my planner, it's keeping me more on par with the amount of things that I'm trying to do and, and accomplish than I've ever been before, so I've just been playing around with it. I ended up loving the habit tracker that I made in the life makeover video and this has been my favorite thing in the world because a lot of these habits are things that I don't want to have to write down in my actual planner itself like reading a chapter of both books I'm reading or doing 15 minutes of cleaning every single day or flossing like those are things that I'm not gonna write in my day planner but they're things that I can use in my habit tracker and so I feel like the combination of those two have been my I don't know my bread and butter so I ended up making a new habit tracker completely for the month of March solely because I also wanted to share with you guys kind of how I made the last one since I didn't really dive too much into detail so I just took the grid mapped out 31 days across to make sure that there's a square for every single day and then depending on how many habits you want to track that's how many squares you're gonna to want to go down and then once that's done at the top I just wrote March habit tracker and then all of my habits are eight hours of sleep, reading every day, meditating every day, working out, yoga, writing, 15 minutes of cleaning, art research, going for two walks, aka taking Bentley for two walks, working on Coes or my podcast, working on Catcher, working outside of my home, aka like going to a cafe or the library, eating healthy, making sure I get my 10k steps, cooking at home every day, crossing off all of my daily goals, which means crossing everything off for the day in my planner. Whether or not I feel like I had a good day, like if it's, like if I was just in a happy mood that day, then I'll fill in the square. And then washing my face and makeup off at the end of the day because I've been getting into a really bad habit of just using face wipes and my skin my skin's feeling it and then on the side I just put a savings plan because as I told you guys at the beginning of this year a big goal of mine right now is to buy a condo I need to stop talking about it and actually start planning it so I kind of created a savings plan of how much money I want to save by the end of this month you could make this anything from working on a book working on a big project learning an instrument reading a book but basically I just put like my main goal for the month of March which is my savings plan so that's a little habit tracker that I decided to make a little how-to on how you guys can make one in your bullet journals if you'd like but aside from that that's all I'm using my bullet journal for for this month and instead I'm gonna be using my planner to keep track of the more bigger tasks that I need to do on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of how I use my weekly planner things haven't changed too much I still use the left side for my lifestyle or like non work related things and the right side for things that I have to do that I consider more work related so on the left side it's always walking Bentley working out meditating and doing yoga those are the big lifestyle things that I try and accomplish every day appointments or if I'm meeting a friend for lunch or if I have something to do that night sometimes I'll even write down like bachelor and tacos because watching the bachelor making tacos is it's a gift and sometimes you need to plan your gifts so then on the right side I map out what I'm doing for work every single day kind of has a different theme for me when it comes to working I don't have like a boss telling me that I need to get things done so I have to kind of be my own boss and my own manager in a lot of ways if you guys ever want me to do like a work week vlog and bring you guys with me as I work throughout the week I can totally do that it might be boring but I most certainly can but that said like for things like Monday I work on blog posts I do manager mode which is doing emails and appointments and stuff and then I usually edit if I can keeping in mind too this was also going to be the week that I'm leaving so there's a few days that I ended up having to kind of square off in highlighter these are not normal days I am not here but in general I did write down a few things that I might be doing while I'm away for instance working out there's still gonna be videos going alive while I'm away and stuff so I want to make sure I'm still posting my socials and things like that but ultimately this would look a little different if I obviously wasn't on a trip one of my favorite things ever about these planners is the big giant section on the second page what I like to do in there is I put it into a three-part grid I make the bigger one overall to do's for that week sometimes there'll be things in there like 
book appointment and then I put a to buy in there I'll write down like if I need to get groceries if I need to get certain things for videos but then I also like to keep my budget at the top of that section and then finally again we talked about this in the February plan with me but I like to keep a little section of accomplished so if there's anything that I feel like I really did well with or accomplished that week or just feel really proud about I kind of write that down there give myself those warm fuzzies little pat on the back which sounds corny but those little positive reinforcements are actually I feel like they make a big difference on your mindset you accomplished this and I'm proud of you even though you was me so with that thus concludes my plan with me for March slash my how I've been editing my Instagram photos I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys have any requests for the next plan with me there's more things you want to see on my phone more things you want to see with the planners the bullet journals or anything like that then definitely let me know and I will make sure to try my best to get it in there and aside from that I love you guys to the moon and back thank you guys so much for planning with me for March and I guess I'll just you know see you guys all in Sunday's video bye guys <laughs>